My music has always dealt with um, contradictions of progress and this kind of double-edged effects of modernization. And um, loneliness is one of these big issues that we are facing as, um, as a society in general. It's something that I've experienced myself as well, so it felt close to home as well. Mm. But uh, I think that finding out those numbers of the report, it actually hit home that it's actually, it's, um, it's a big problem. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a huge problem and it has an epidemic proportion. So I actually thought it was interesting for me to talk about it. And, and Joe's legacy, I mean, she uh, believed that it's, it's, uh, we all have a part to play in kind of tackling loneliness. So I thought, okay, so I'm going to do my part as well. You yeah. know, so I'll do it through art and through music. We'll find out about how you kind of made the music as a result of this. But as Londoners, often we live in such a busy place, but you can miss the loneliness, can't you? You can miss the people around you who, who aren't actually coping. It is an invisible problem, and that's when problems become terrible because they are not visible. And, um, and yeah, it's, it's such, um, there's a lot of stigma attached to it as well, so people might not talk about it, might not be, op uh, might not be open about it. And what interested me uh, also about this is that we are also so connected. You know, technology allows us to be in this state of hyper-connection, you know, which I call it. And, but at the same time, it seems that loneliness and social isolation are actually growing. You know? So it's, it's an interesting paradox you know, to yeah. think about. Yeah, being permanently connected doesn't necessarily solve the problem. Tell us about the music then, and, and how you composed several pieces off the back of the report. Well, first, when you are composing, you need to actually try to be in that mode. You know? in, and it's, so there's a layer of trying to have that emotion in you while you are composing the music. And um, I've used a soprano, which I normally used in my compositions. I've used two in this particular uh, piece, but one of them is singing really high at the top of her range, where she feels most uncomfortable. And also she's singing in invented language. So to emphasize this concept of disconnection, of isolation. Um, and then there's another uh, big player in the piece, which is a choir. And for the performance, it's going to be uh, played by uh, a choir based in London. Yeah which is called, uh, called More Than Just a Choir. And they're a community choir that work with people that suffer social isolation and mental illness. So the idea was to bring the soprano somehow to the choir. So at the beginning, had the ending. So the piece is this journey mm. to bring the high soprano that is symbolizing this, this isolation to the choir that symbolizes the community. Yeah, in and the end she's not on her own. Yeah, and there's another character, which is the other soprano, who is a Persian soprano, that uh, for the first time in my music introduces some Eastern sonorities to the piece. And she symbolized these bridges, the bridges between East and West, but also bridges between us and the soprano and the choir. So she is the, the vehicle that takes her from that high register to the choir. And um, so this yeah. is the symbology behind the piece and also there's a lot of other things like a lot of spaces in between notes. Normally my music was quite busy. So I forced myself to leave spaces, gaps, you know, little tales, which again kind of um, give you the sense of isolation, you know, the sense of loneliness. The added layer to this is of course that people will come together to enjoy this music for the very first time as a group on the 20th of October. Uh, what can we expect? It's taking place at St. Luke's uh, near Old Street. St. Luke's and I think is a great uh, thing for people to get together in, in, in real connections, you know, real kind of human connections and that's what I want people to come and enjoy the piece and, and yeah, make them think and, and, and reflect about it, you know, and also the choir will be, you know, uh, we, we you know, will be part of the audience at some point as well, just to emphasize this concept that this problem is invisible to most of us. And I just want, like with my work, I just want people to think about these issues, you know, and, and to raise awareness of this fact. And I want people to enjoy, to come and, and, and enjoy the music for sure.